Hi everyone, welcome to this video. My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk and in this video we're going to be talking about the error message that you may be getting. Windows could not start because the following file is missing or corrupt. That's Windows System32 config system and that may also be the end word here system may be uh, security or software or something like that. It, it can be changed if there's a, a corrupt <coughs> uh, file and it just changes the end file but you will be seeing something of this nature and what we're going to do is going to show you a way to, to repair that now if you do it the standard way which is the Windows way put the CD, Windows CD in and actually uh, select R to enter the recovery console and then it tells you to copy these files over the problem with that is and I'm going to show you is uh, let's go to let's go to start um, my computer and I'm going to show you roughly where the file is it's in this re repair folder in Windows and basically these files these are all been updated but these files are the ones that it's going to repair so Windows wants you to put the CD in and go to repair and it will copy these you have to copy these files across Now the problem with that is these files on the repair folder are only uh, there from when you first installed Windows and it puts these on there as a backup copy now that's not going to be much use to you if the machine is two or three years old now and then you get this error message come up and it's then then you get to the point where you want to try and use these files to repair the problem and the problem with that is obviously there are going to be drivers could be issues with drivers because obviously they're old drivers it could be a bit some pieces missing there'd be lots of missing because these files are all small like some of these were only um, eight uh, something like eight megabytes or something like that so now you can see it's much bigger uh, it's much more there and this to be honest is um, what you should be backing up regular so I'm going to show you what to do to back up this regularly so just in case it does happen ever you can always repair with decent files of the latest system state files so the first thing you need to do is make sure that you've um, that you're using uh, let's have a look system tools backup so Windows backup now I know Windows home users won't have this installed but you can put the CD in and actually install off the CD now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do that as well so I'm just going to stick the CD in quickly so we can see what's going on there okay so basically let me just show you how you get this installed off the CD so let me just uh, get this up here and then we'll go from there so basically let me just explore the CD right click and explore and basically if you've got Windows XP home this is you basically need to shut that off you need to go to value add and then MSFT and then NT backup and the file is there that's the backup file that you need to install and then it will be back it will be on your machine okay so that's as simple as that so once you get inst once you get installed you can actually come to the backup utility and you can see a little tick here put the tick in system state now you want to make sure um, you do a backup to the area that you can, as you can see mine's going to E system state backup and that's where it's going to be going to my external hard drive now you can this will be A by default but change it to C or if you want to put it on Windows C fine but it's even better if you can actually put it on an external drive because then you've got a safer place to actually restore a backup from if Windows is crash C it may be corrupt and also uh, it, this also means that your drive could be failing so it just might not be a, a software error or a corrupt file so just bear that in mind so what we're going to do now is just click on start and then click start backup and this will actually go to this area um, okay and it will take a bit of time before it gets started uh, and I'm just gonna let this uh, finish its process and as you can see seems to be taking a bit of time so anyway it shouldn't take too long once it starts it should only take you know something like 20 30 seconds maybe 40 seconds something like that but, um, I 
okay there you go so this is going to take one minute 40 seconds 30 seconds okay so I'll just let this uh, and as you can see it's just transferring that file all them files you can see it just flickering there system 32 it's taking all them files over all the good files that you're going to need to back up this problem okay and this is the right way to do it uh, the better way to do it as well because obviously you're going to get a, um, the latest system state rather than one that was two years ago when you first installed Windows or how long ever it was that you did it okay now I can understand that you may not have done that and you may be in a bit of a dilemma and you've only got the old ones but I'm going to show you another way to do it as well so close that off that's done so the next way what you need to do is you need to get yourself a CD called uh, Win. Um, sorry, Ultimate, Ultimate Boot Ultimate Boot CD for Win. Okay, and I'll put that in the um, description. So basically, once you've booted up Ultimate Boot CD for Win, it's an actual virtual environment or pre-installed environment where it goes onto a disk, onto an actual boot disk, and you boot it up and it goes to this sort of screen here, and this is what you get. So I'm just going to come in here, and then you want to go to Programs and System Registry Tools, and actually come down to Registry Restore Wizard. So click on that, and as you can see, the drive is all in good working order. So we know the drive's not fouled, otherwise it would say drive not found. So this is a good way to look at the drive to make sure that it's not fouled or in any sort of way. So now we kind of click on C colon backslash Windows. You may just have custom, but don't worry it's because you haven't installed any also we're going to go next here go f next there we've got a restore point because I've just done it you can see and you may have loads of restore points here if you do it regularly as well and you, you know or you may just have restore points 10 12 or whatever many it is just use the one the very latest one don't use the very first one obviously because it'll be too old okay and then you just do next and then go yes and basically that's gonna fix probably I would say 80 to 90 percent of the time it will fix the problem that you've got now if it doesn't you can actually transfer the files over in the command prompt I'm going to just quickly show you that way as well so you just need to go to the command prompt and we can do it in this sort of a pre-installed environment and I'll just show you here so basically the first thing you want to do is go to C colon and go to the C uh, up, and then you want to change the directory to Windows um, Windows oops sorry Windows System 32 System 32 and backslash and then you want to go to config and, and that's that and then we also want to we want to look at the actual files, so I want to do DIR at this point, and then we can see the files in there. Okay, now you can already see I've already done a system dot old or dash old. So if you wanted to do that, you could actually go ren system like so, and uh, system again, and then just put either dot old if you wanted to or dash old something of that nature and basically once you've done that then you can actually type DIR again and it will actually show you the file now you can just see the file I've made there system.old that's the old file so just in case it, it all goes tits up and you have to revert back to the older file okay so the next thing you want to do is just change directory with a double dot and then change directory again with a double dot yeah, and then you want to go change directory to repair, which is the that location that I told you, which is in Windows, Windows repair folder, which is the actual place where we're going to copy the file from. And then we want to go system in there, and then we want to do C colon uh, backslash, and then we want to go Windows, okay, and then you want to go system 32 like so and then you want to go config backslash config and then you want to do backslash system now basically what that's going to do is copy the file from this directory to where we need it so that from that repair folder it's going to copy it to 
there. So we just push enter and you can see one file has been copied. Okay. And then you type exit and then reboot the machine and you should see uh, Windows boot up. So that's how you repair the actual problem. Uh, now if that doesn't work, obviously if that doesn't work there's you'll have to go through some other uh, methods but I mean that pretty much should do it really. I've never had any problems with it before, I mean that probably I'd say 90% of the time it does. Other than that it's normally a drive problem. If, if there's uh, other problems with a the drive then you'd have to take a different approach to it. Okay, my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. I hope this has solved all your problems. Please leave your comments and please join my channel. Any questions you have, post them up there and I'll try and do my best to answer them for you. Okay. I'll be making some more uh, videos in the future. Bye for now.